Hey guys, uh, this is Normal here for Technique and today we are going to benchmark the ASUS Zenfone Lite. So the ASUS Zenfone Lite or the A502CG is a uh, budget or you can say a mid-range phone with a decent specs. It is, uh, it's it's like a stripped down version of uh, the ASUS Zenfone 5. So it has a QHD display powered by 1.2 GHz Intel Atom Dual Core Processor with 1 GB of RAM it has 8 GB internal storage and it also comes with Android 4.4 KitKat so it has the Zen UI running on top of Android now let's uh, go ahead and uh, benchmark this device so let's start off the benchmarking with the anti to benchmarking app So the Antutu scores are here, it's 18384 which is a pretty impressive value. The Zenfone 5 when we tested had a value of around 19074. So it's very close, so even though it's um, it's uh, the, the processor is um, 1.2 gigahertz when compared to 1.6 on uh, the ASUS Zenfone 5, there isn't much uh, difference in the benchmark, so it comes with a pretty impressive value. The Moto E which is uh, a lower phone than this comes up with a value of 11897. So this is pretty impressive. So now let's go to quadrant test. So the, the quadrant test results are here. So it's 6506 again very impressive score. 8316 was the ASUS Zenfone 5. So this device has come up with pretty decent values. 6506 is pretty decent value when compared to 5151 of the Moto E. Now let's go to the Nina Mark 2. So the Nina Mark 2 results are out, that's 59.0, that's very impressive value considering that even Moto G has only 57.2. So this is a really great performance from ASUS Zenfone 5 Lite. Now let's test our Velamo benchmarking app for browser test as well as the Metro test. So the Velamo browser test results are here, so that's 1420 which is really impressive value uh, for a mid-range phone. Now let's do the Velamo metal test. So the Velamo metal results is 563, they gain really good score for a mid-range phone. Finally we will see the multi-touch capabilities of the Zenfone 5 Lite. So as you can see it supports only 5 point multi-touch. So the Zenfone 5 had a 10 point multi-touch so this is 5 point multi-touch. So that is the benchmarking of the ASUS Zenfone 5 Lite. So we did the uh, Antutu Quadrant, Nenamark, Velamo and the multi-touch. So hope you like this video. If you have any specific questions so just drop a comment and we will be glad to help you out with the queries. If you like this video do hit the like button subscribe to your YouTube channel for more videos and thanks for watching this video.